After agonizing over it, I decided to meet her and told her to be careful. But that same night, on the TV... She looked as if she was being engulfed by some black shape. She was writhing in pain. That's why I warned her. Why won't she pick up the phone? Come on, please! Wait, you have her number? The next day, they found her dead. I knew she was going to be murdered, but I couldn't save her. I blamed myself, thinking there must have been something I could have done. There was no one who depended on me. Nobody at work. Not even my wife. Mayumi was the only one who accepted me for who I was. But she was murdered. And the same person killed another girl. I was... I was beside myself. I couldn't forgive myself for doing nothing. You really did love Miss Yamano. Yes. From the bottom of my heart. Before I was married, my wife made it big in show business. I was happy for her, but it put a strain on our relationship. I think I can kind of relate. <laughs> yeah. It was around that time when I met Mayumi. She was interviewing our candidate for the next election. She was a big name announcer, but she only worked with local stations, and her attitude towards work was similar to mine. We both came from Inaba, so she was easy to talk to. I knew it was wrong, but I couldn't help getting intimate with her. She gave meaning to my life. Soon after Saki-san was found dead, yet another girl appeared on TV. That was you. She'll be kidnapped next. And murdered. I can't let her end up like Mayumi and that other girl. This time, I'm gonna do something. My opponent was a murderer who left no clues to his identity. I thought hard about what I could do to protect her from someone like that. I'll never convince her. If she gets suspicious and they arrest me, who'll save her then? The girl inside the TV looked as if she was smiling at me. And that's when it hit me. I apparently had the power to go through the TV screen to the other side. Then, what if I put her into the TV and give her shelter there before the killer gets her? What are you trying to tell me? That it's safe over there? Is that it? The girl inside the TV seemed to smile at me again. And I thought, no matter what kind of place it might be, it's better than being slaughtered. Once things calmed down, I could just let her out again. If she's inside the TV, there's no way they can find her. It felt as if everything was starting to come together in my mind. Could it be that Mayumi gave me that power to prevent any more victims from meeting her fate? Was it my mission to save people? But there was a big problem. If I explained the situation to the victim, they wouldn't understand. I had already tried that and failed miserably. It seemed the only thing I could do was to take them away. If that was my mission, I'd just have to do it. Or so I thought. Mayumi, please lend me your strength. People who appeared on the Midnight Channel would be killed. You kidnapped us in order to save us. Mission? Give me a break! You never stopped and wondered about any of this? I thought I was the only one who could help them. I did call the police, but they didn't believe me. I knew the area well, thanks to my job. I had a large truck, and I could move around without suspicion. I thought my job as a delivery man would be the perfect cover for my mission. I thought no one else could do it. But... Are you telling me that I wasn't saving them? No? If a person is still within the TV world when the fog appears here, they will die. Beginning with Yukiko-san, 
The people you thought you had been saving were, in fact, in mortal peril. It was my friends here who really saved us all. I had a feeling that was it. When I went after that little girl and entered the TV myself, for the first time, I had some doubts about myself. You refer to Nanakarchan, correct? The police were after me, so I had to get away. But I still felt I needed to do everything I could to save that poor little girl. That's why I went in after her. But the TV world was completely different than I imagined. Such an abominable, grotesque place. I knew that the three of you who I saved went back to your normal lives, so... I didn't realize how terrible that world was. I never knew. You couldn't even get out of that place on your own. No. That's a cowardly way to put it. I'd probably already begun to realize that it was a dangerous place. If I hadn't, I wouldn't have gone to see you all. See us? Wait, are you talking about the concert we did at Juness? Yes. I wanted to know why the ones I saved were all hanging out with each other, and how much you remembered. But in the end, I couldn't bring myself to say anything and ran home. I must have felt too guilty. Hmm. <laughs> but all the doubts and anxieties I'd been unconsciously suppressing exploded out when I entered the television myself. By the way, I do love story uh, stories. I thought I was going insane. I probably did. And you know the rest. When I came to, I was lying in a hospital bed. You really were trying to save people. But I ended up doing just the opposite. Oh, what a fool. I always wanted to enter the world of politics and become useful to society. But after losing my job and the woman I loved, all I had left was this power. I convinced myself that world was some sort of sanctuary, and I secretly believed myself to be a hero. I never doubted what I saw on TV, and believed everything was as I wanted it to be. I didn't think for myself at all. That's why I couldn't protect them. I'm to blame for all of this. What's done is done. I suppose so. But the things I've done are too serious to be brushed aside like that. I have no intentions of running away from my crimes. I'm prepared to face the consequences. Kidnapping is already a serious crime. And on top of that, I put all those lives in danger. I'm sorry. The Midnight Channel and the Other World you can hardly be blamed for failing to understand them properly. We must apologize to you as well. Had we let our emotions blind us to the truth, we would have piled all the responsibility on you. I guess from your point of view, people did stop dying once you started saving people. The more you did it, the more you really believed you were preventing their deaths. I'm such a joke. I'm sorry. I'm getting a little tired. What happened to the uh, the police are uh, the police is not going to be long before the police come back. What, what are you all crammed in here for? My apologies. We'll be leaving now. Wait. I beg you, please find whoever's behind this. You children are the only ones who know about that world. That's our plan. It's all clear now. He never committed any murders. It was another party who threw the first two victims into the TV. Yeah, say this right in front of the... Oh, well, he's not going to believe it anyways. I'm taking another step forward towards the truth. Holy crap! We're going through this quick! We're already on rank three. Seek the truth. Uh, mm, the truth social link has reached level three. Your power to create personas with the Judgment Arcana has grown. Now get out of here! I told you, he's almost ready to be transported. 
We can't have anything else happen. Sheesh. I better not see you rascals here again. You will not. Monaco-chan looks like she's in pain. She's fighting for dear life. This was the last place we saw Teddy, right? He was so worried about her. How can he flake out like this when we have to find the real killer? The police consider the matter closed. We'll have to do all the investigation from here on out. Let's revisit Saki-san and Miss Yamano's incidents and see if we can turn up fresh details. But it's been over six months. Wouldn't the trail be cold by now? Over six months? You mean only six months? Wait, it's only been six months? Man, it, fits. it felt like we've been through this, uh, been going through this game a lot longer than that. In game, by the way. I know, but we can't give up. We're the only ones who understand what's really going on. And you never know. People might remember some things now because they've had so much time to think about it. Let's split up and talk to people all over town tomorrow. We'll meet up in the evening to discuss our findings. I hope we can find out something about Teddy, too. Tomorrow, you'll be- you'll all be going out to talk to people in town. Hmm, will this finally help uncover the information that will lead you to the true culprit? You decide to go home early today and get some rest. Let's continue onward. Hmm, just rest early today to get you ready- get ready for the uh, investigation tomorrow. It's Monday! Uh, today is the day the school was founded, so you have the day off. You need to investigate the town. You wonder if you'll be able to gather the information you need to catch the killer. Okay, we'll start off at the Samagawa Float... Uh, uh, yeah, Samagawa Float Plane. Talk to everybody we can. Well. Ah, it's you. Fog's pretty thick today. I go out on walks and I can hardly recognize my surroundings. Pretty sad, ain't it? Hmm, but hey, thanks for stopping to talk to me. And about that lamp, you don't have to go out of your way or, or nothing. Hey. Okay. Uh, my, my daughter was in an accident. On top of that, it was a hit and run. Nobody could tell what kind of car it was because of all the fog. Sheesh, this is horrible. Thankfully, she wasn't hurt too bad. But she was she was right, wasn't she? That fog is dangerous. I need to start letting everyone know. Fog isn't clearing up, is it? Isn't that just a little strange? My wife is all business as usual, but I'm a little worried. By the way, do you need anything? About those murders. I'm sorry. All I remember is that something happened. And it was pretty shocking, but what can I say? A lot of times passed. That's very true. And do you need something about those murders? Now that you mention it, the town was all buzz, uh, a buzz last spring. You remember that, don't you? Okay. Well, no one's here. Going to town. Next area is Juna's department. Can I help you about those murders? Eh, the incident last spring? I don't remember anything from that long ago. I'm going to be studying for college entrance exams next year, so I've got no room for useless information like that. Rude. I hate how, I hate how it probably gets spent every day. This is the season for winter vegetables, too. But will I, what will I do if the fog really is poison? All my vegetables will go rotten. This is all because not enough people eat their vegetable, veggies. If only my son would clean his plate, he'd... Hmm. Hmm, first we retrace our steps. That would be the simplest way. Saki Kaneshi and Mayumi Yamano. Found a lightning bolt? Ooh, there you go. There should be a commonly commonality between the two. Surely there are some witnesses. Any scrap of data would be useful, no matter how small. Hmm. Guess we got a lot of people to talk to now. Uh, can I help you about those murders? That incident last spring? I still wonder what happened. 
It was a pretty big deal, wasn't it? I'd almost completely forgotten about that. Wow. Must be getting old, huh? Well, what is it about those murders? Uh, what are you talking about? You explained about the incident involving Saki Namino, the female announcer. Did all that happen just last spring? Wow, it seems so long ago. Who's gonna remember something that far back anyway? This fog has gotta be ain't gotta be some kind of biological weapon. It's a conspiracy! You know who I heard it was? Juness. Yeah, that's right, Juness. The country of uh, the country of Juness is sta uh, staging on all Country of Juness? Have you come here? Uh, dog. The strange fog. Hey, it's put out the, uh, the pilot. It's put out the pilot light for my forge. That's that's unforgivable. This fire is what allowed me to stave uh, off the cold and the elements from invading my art studio. If I have to close my shop down in the middle of winter like this, how am I supposed to make a living? Well, since we're here... Oh, it's only plus 10 SP. She doesn't attack, so. Hmm. That I won't sell. And Naruto. Only by all oh, the hit. But the hit is a lot better, so you know, let's go ahead and just grab it. Boom. Done. Yeah, we'll sell it. Oh, uh, that that's it. Armor. Plus 40 HP, huh? No, I'll get it. Oh. We're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and give you Well we're already getting the auto Ruku Kaja. Huh. Mataru. So Sell that, won't sell that, won't sell that. Yeah, I'm gonna sell this. Yep, sell that. Strega Claw. Accessories. This in fact. This is the chance of fear. Yeah, we can sell that. White feather. Spiral 
earring. Uh, we'll hold on to that. Increases luck by four, huh? You know, I probably could actually just go ahead and give him. Uh, no, no, no. Maybe. Those are expensive. Don't think I'll be selling those anytime soon. What are you anyways? Protect self from instant death skills. Oh. selling those. Res fully restores one ally's HP and SP. Oh, I should be doing more of those. Oh, yeah, I should be doing more of those. I think I have a lot more melons, so... Do, 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 do. Okay, you're next. Talk. I've been feeling poor or poorly recently. Uh, you need to be careful too. The fog, there's something about it that just gives me a bad feeling. Okay, well, fine. Don't talk to me about anything else but the fog. Rude. Rude, rude, rude. Hey, listen to this. Rosette came and spoke to me. This is a once-in-a-lifetime thing. I asked her I asked her for her autograph and what type of guy she's into. You're looking at him. Anyway, what do you want? I'm sure you can see how busy I am. About the murders. Didn't they capture the suspect and put a lid on that case? Are you done asking questions? Good. Now go away. I'm very busy talking to Rosette right now. Buddy, you're actually talking to my girl, so back the freak off. I've been asking around Teddy about Teddy too, but I'm surprised how many people actually remember him. They're all, uh, they're all like, "Oh yeah, that guy in the bear suit from Juness," but nobody's nobody has seen him yesterday or today. He's loved by so many different people. Where the heck could he have gone? This fog sure is uh, dark and creepy, isn't it? Question for me about those murders. A little while ago, they said that a suspect had been caught. It was in the newspaper. It was the namatami son, right? I remember seeing him around around from the time to time. Oh, how horrible. It really does frighten me. I don't, I don't recall seeing any other strange people, so I'm sure he's the culprit. Is it true that there were no other suspicious individuals? Perhaps you should ask someone else about this. Fog isn't clearing. Even though, even though the year's almost over, it's deplorable. It'll be so cold on New Year's that I'll, I'll, I'll never be happy. What do you want? Recall anyone suspicious? There isn't anyone like that uh, in this town. I even know you. You're, you're the kid who's staying at Dojima and Kun's house. Well, well, well. If it isn't the coal, thanks for bringing it to me. Oh, yay, there you go. Now I can get into a real sauna. I'm here for a moment. Received 15,000 yen. A little token of my gratitude. Wow! And since all I hear uh, from everyone is poison, poison, I've got to kind of, uh, I've gotten kind of freaked out too. I wonder where I can buy a gas mask. I need to get one. Everyone else has one already. I uh, so far out of this entire block, I've only seen one person with a gas mask, and that's the guy right up there. Uh, it's me. Do you recognize me? Why am I outside when I'm at uh, when I'm at home? I just see more news about the murders. I thought I'd stay out here and watch the sunset. Of course, I'm going to watch the TV when I go home anyway. And even though I can't see the sunset because of all this fog, 
I hate it. It's so depressing. Ah, do you have a question? Are you calling anyone suspicious? It's a small town. If there was anyone suspicious, there would be rumor going all going around all over. But at least I haven't heard any news or rumors like that, so I'd say there's no such person. You gotta be careful when taking your motorcycle out on a foggy day. I wish whoever honked at me when I slowed down more than usual understood that. He yelled at me for going too slow. What's so wrong with following the speed limit? Wait, or was I at fault there? Uh, weird people aside from Namatabe? Hmm, uh, nope, I don't think so. Uh, even if someone's been killed, everyone just forgets it so easily. But rumors they, mm, uh, but rumors they hear from friends and TV get remembered for a long time. Why is that? Been while since the first two incidents. Do you think we'll find anyone who still remembers them? Possibly. Sign says not gonna issue drugs, but the shutters are closed. There's no sign that the drop of oh, the shop is closed. You're calling anyone suspicious? Hmm? No, I don't think I've seen any suspicious people. Except for you, who's interrupting my conversation with some Zed. Oh, what a rude. I just ignored me and walked off. I know it was kind of personal, but it kind of hurt. Damn, Fog, hurry up and go away. Well, let's ask around together. Uh, recall anyone suspicious? A strange person? I don't think I've seen any. I mean, this is a pretty small town, wouldn't you say? If I had, I'm pretty sure I'd remember. Call anyone suspicious? No, I can't think of anyone. Not from this town, anyway. Hmm. Can't go to high school, right? Yeah, didn't think so. Oak in the city? Oh, wow, it's even foggy here. Everyone's in a lovey-dovey uh, lovey mode. Well, I've got a news flash for them. The cinema is not your makeout spot. Oh, it's Christmas this month. No wonder our, our butcher shop is busy. Christmas, Christmas, huh? Oh, can we help you with something? You asked about the incident that occurred in Inaba in spring. The thing in Inaba? I think I heard about it. Oh yeah, I think I saw it on the news. Or did I? Inaba, huh? I heard the steaks are good in Inaba. I know people who dislike romance or dislike gore, but I'm not, uh, but not many people dislike human drama. That's why I think it's a shame that they won't see a movie just because. Especially zombie movies. I wish they were more popular. What? You want to ask me something? If it's about a, mo about a movie, ask away. It's not about, um, not, not, not about a movie at all, blah. I know about the incident, but not many of the details. I'm still looking forward to finding out about that thing I asked you about. Parts. Uh, zombies don't count as that, do they? Wish I knew someone who knew a lot about history. <sighs> Maybe I should see a movie. No, what is it? Wow, I never heard about anything like that. Maybe I saw it on the news. How oh, did you guys not hear about that? And if I did, it was a long time ago. I don't remember it. Incident that occurred in Inaba Spring. Oh yeah, I remember seeing that on the news. Can't recall much about it though. I uh, can't be happy without money, but even if you have money, you can't be happy without love either, which means I need a man with money. I wish there was someone that could go and pick uh, pick one up. A man with money. Getting pretty cold. Hmm. Is there something you can ask me? Uh, what was that about? This was in Inaba, you said. It didn't stick in my mind. I just remembered something like that happening, that's all. I wonder why I love seeing a man in a nice suit so much. Hmm. 
Do me a favor, I'm doing a te uh, taste test and I want some honest feedback from young people like you. Eat the red one. You swallow the red object. The taste is a harmony of tomatoes and sweet red bean. You gave the man your feedback. Hmm, I see. Thank you. That's very helpful. A local farmer and pe uh, patissier decided to help me out. I'm trying to create and create a hit. Once I do, I'll take it to my company. Hmm, was there something you wanted to ask me? Uh, the incident in spring? Oh, I think there was a report like that on the news. I don't remember much. Mm hmm. Huh. I wonder if the reason for this fog is the decrease in the ocean's temperature. In that case, I have to let him go soon. He'll be all right without me. Someone better will, um, someone better will come along. Hmm, is there something you want to... Uh, okay. And it's in the spring. Is something happening? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't remember. Why does nobody remember anything there? Well, uh, now that you mention it, my friend was saying he saw someone. I think she's just one oh, wandering around the shopping district. So why don't you ask her? Wandering around the shopping district. All right, so now I got a lead. Got to be something different, somebody different now. She was a, her friends around the shopping district. Someone, oh, here, here she is. I already talked to her. Someone, uh, oh, that. You remember Saki Konishi, don't you? You know, she passed away a while ago. She told me now that Namatame, uh, that Namatame person came to her one day and started spouting all this craziness. Something about the TV. I wonder what that was all about. His relationship to Saki? Hey, I don't know what you're implying, but you've got it all wrong. Saki was a good girl. It's just that people misunderstood her. I tried to warn Saki. Okay, it seems that this thing about Namatame making advances on Saki was a misunderstanding. Uh, let's... Tell me making a rest of the ending obviously 